They say as an adult, we make about 35,000 choices a day. What to eat, what to wear, when to go to bed, and the list goes on. But those choices didn't prepare me for the biggest choice I've had to make in my life. Hey, Mac. Is Adam up yet? He's just in the shower. Hey, can I show you something? Sure. This guy sucks, right? Like, our YouTube videos are a million times fun here. I'm sorry, who is this? Before I tell you, you just gotta know that I'm like a half a foot taller than this guy. Oh, this is the guy that's dating the girl you're obsessed with, isn't it? Yes, but knowing the whole package, who would you rather date, me or him? Oh, Mac, I'm gonna have to play the gay card on this one. Come on, he's super basic, right? Hey, glad to see you guys are getting along. Yeah, do you want to go for a walk outside right now? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't think Mac learned anything from his mushroom trip. Yeah. So about the uh, elephant in the room. Give me your phone. Okay. There. There? I just set an alarm for midnight. Because? Because I just took my last prenatal vitamin and I want us to decide today if we're keeping this baby. Pro. If you ever need a kidney transplant, you could always steal the babies. Con. What about your career? Don't you want to be a filmmaker? Pro. Could be good for my image. Nobody wants to root for the straight white male bachelor anymore, so. And what about your career? I mean, don't you want to be like a mental health worker or something? I want to be a psychologist. I am a mental health worker. I thought you just delivered drugs. I administer drugs. So how's that going to get you into psychiatry? Psychology. Wait, which one's the one that hands out the weed cards? Oh, hey. Adorable baby, one o'clock. Pro, we can put it in hilarious costumes for our own amusement. I think I know that guy. That's, uh, that's Tyler Parker. He's like the Edgar Wright of Vancouver. Really big deal. Hey, Tyler. I, I only actually met him once. I, I don't really know him that well. Why would you say that? I didn't. Hey. Hey, uh, I, I think I saw you speak at the Canadian Film Fest one time. Wait, you're the guy who made the Burning Man doc. Yeah, yeah, that's right, I did. You, you saw that? No, uh, but I heard good things. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Adam, and uh, this is Rita. Amy, nice to meet you. We couldn't help notice your adorable little Ewok there. <laughs> How's parenting going? Oh, uh, you know, a lot of sleepless nights, but it's worth it. I mean, like, overall. Any regrets, pros, cons? Uh, nope. The only regret I have is not packing an extra shirt. But, uh, yeah, I always pack a ton of clothes for the baby, but <clears throat> forgot. Oops. Anyways, uh, we have to run home, so um, have a nice day. Uh, uh, wait. We're pregnant and we're trying to decide if we're going to keep the baby or not. And I was wondering if I could just pick your brain about pregnancy and babies. That. That was, that was weird, That's right? That weird, was weird. Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry, never mind. Do you want to come over for tea? Like, right now? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Congratulations. You two must be so excited. 
Oh, uh, no congratulations just yet. We're, uh, we're still in the uh, trying to decide if we want to keep it phase. So how, how was pregnancy? Oh, uh, first trimester I was sick the whole time. Uh, second went pretty smooth with all the happy hormones. And third, I just felt like a clumsy, sore elephant. But we survived. <laughs> and uh, what about the labor? How did the birth go? Yeah, honestly, it was great for the first 24 hours. Hell, for the next 16. And then his heart rate went all wonky. And right before I was fully dilated, it was like, hello, emergency C-section. <laughs> It was super traumatic, but I'm proud of myself for making it through. I mean, C-section was not in my birth plan at all. Birth plan? Uh, Adam, why don't you and I grab these ladies some drinks? Minty? Uh, sure, uh, thanks. Your turn. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. hey. He's got a lot to say. <laughs> Oh, oh, there you go. What's going on? Hi. So you really can't have it all, hey? Successful filmmaker and a dad? See, that's that's one of the things that I was worried about getting. How old are you? Uh, I'll be 26 when the baby's born. If we uh, if we decide to. Jesus. Look. People are gonna tell you a bunch of crap, like this is the best thing that'll ever happen to you, the most wonderful change ever. It's not. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure you guys share a lot of magical moments together, you know? You wanna be a filmmaker, right? Yeah. And between your day job and taking care of your family, when exactly are you gonna find the time to be an established director? Well, you know, I'm, I'm always applying for funds. Um, my roommate and I, we're, we're working on a web series right now. Nobody watches web series. Like the thing about fatherhood that nobody tells you is it's a prison. You are stuck with her and the baby and sooner or later, you're gonna resent them. Well, you guys seem happy. Well, I'm not. Don't keep it. Grab the beers. I just downloaded the pregnancy app on Rita's phone. Oh, I love that app. How big is the baby today? It's about the size of a lentil. <laughs> oh, and it told us the approximate due date, Adam. It's about September 17th. Wow. Uh, two weeks after my birthday. Amy says she pretty much does everything that she used to do. She just puts the baby in a wrap. Oh, and you can get these really cute little headphones, and then you can take your baby to concerts and stuff. Cool. You gonna get that? It's midnight. I guess it is. So. So. I'm leaning like 40, 60? Me too. Which way? Keeping the baby. Really? Wouldn't that be like 60-40? Let's just flip for it. We're not flipping for the baby. Yeah, I know. It was a, it was a joke. Bad joke. You seemed so comfortable today. I mean, isn't your motto live for the story? Yes, it is. Well, we're not teenagers. I don't know if this is ever going to happen for me again. You can try and sway me, but he obviously wants to be here. He? Yeah, uh, Amy said that the closer you are to ovulating when you conceive, the more likely it is to be a boy. Ah. 
You can be as involved as you want to be. I mean, I can move back into my mom's no, basement. No, 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 no. No, I am not going to be some deadbeat dad. If you're all in, I'm all in. So what about us? I don't know. Could we just be two super awesome people having a baby and take it one day at a time? Yeah, okay, okay. All right. So we're doing this. Yeah. We're having a baby. When Father Winter warms to spring, and the birds begin to sing.